Whoever was allowed to take a seat in a 1947 Rolls-Royce Silver Wraith had with great certainty blue blood flowing through the veins. Only a few cars can be recognized straight away from a layman. This Rolls-Royce Silver Wraith from 1947 bears this distinctive radiator grille with a hood ornament of the spirit of ecstasy. Everyone knows this, even if it's not affordable for almost anyone, along with the car beneath it. Traditionally, Rolls-Royce doesn't give a performance specification. Then, it should just be enough. The luxury car manufacturer maintains this tradition until the 90s. A Rolls-Royce is like a grill built around it. And together with the huge headlights, the Silver Wraith has an extremely friendly, but also very old-fashioned face. Emily, the mascot, she spreads her wings like on the top of a skyscraper. Between 1946 and 59, exactly 1,783 Silver Wraith chassis were made. Coach builder Packard, however, built only five models in this version. Two go to India, one to Australia, and one to South Africa. The clientele consists mainly of crowned heads. This model here is ordered by His Majesty, the Prince of Belgium. Emily needs to step aside when the driver opens the hood. The inline six cylinder is no longer a modern construction at the end of the 40s, but instead durable and reliable. In the trunk, there's only the bare minimum space. The steamer trunk of the determined travel company had to be transported by train. The spare wheel and tools hide in a separate compartment. Steering wheel and valves are free from all ambition to be modern in any way. In the thick wooden panel, the instruments are placed where there were precisely enough space. As a rule, also, only chauffeurs took their place here, so luxury behind the wheel is deemed unnecessary. The entry is easy, but the tight seating position doesn't leave drivers with a generous belly any chance. The gear lever is strangely found on the outside of the car, and this is reminiscent of cars from the 20s. The eye-catching seat of this vehicle is, however, its back seat. The size and legroom is reminiscent of a small apartment. Whoever is allowed to settle here sits very comfortably. On the end wall is the car heater. The only buttons that can be operated here are those for the thick separating window to the driver. In addition to the center armrest, there are two folding chairs for service staff. Not very comfortable, but still very functional. Most of the rolls built still drive. That pushes on collector's prices, and a silver wraith in good condition can be had for under 90,000 euros. In every Rolls-Royce lives the perfectionism and will to survive all other cars. 
This durability and dignity make it so popular today with wedding pairs. After all, they want to drive up in style and enjoy their relationship as long as that of a Rolls Royce. Nobility, however, prefer to move around inconspicuously today. 